So TMR has a heavy vehicles um, section and hey, our heavy vehicle permits are they do. liaise with the in, um, NHVR yes. for issuing of heavy vehicle permits and obviously as roadworks get underway we know that widths will start to reduce and so yeah. the type of permitting, uh, permitted vehicles that can get through the site will change and there will be a notification of process that's associated with that. TMR will endeavour to provide as much lead time as we can in terms of notifying the heavy vehicle industry or permitted vehicles on those changes, uh, including as well with the traffic changes bill that are coming up. Um, we try to give drivers as much notice as we possibly can, just to make sure that um, you mentioned that one of the important elements of freight is planning, um, planning your route, knowing which destination you're heading to, and estimating the amount of time it will take there. So. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the elements of this job we'll be endeavouring to complete is to make sure that everybody's aware of what's going on and where there are traffic, traffic impacts here, uh, how long they might take, what sort of delay that might be and how it might impact freight movements. Yes, uh, that's, that's good. Communication. Look, I think the industry uh, is very uh, used to change, especially after COVID, the way we were uh, handling those situations with the permits and crossing borders all the time. So industry is sort of very adaptable for change. A lot of the movements for industry is, you know, is daily. So what moves tomorrow sort of doesn't get notified until this afternoon. Yep. Um, and we have to manage that to the best of our ability. So communication, communication, communication. That's, that's okay. the biggest key to the whole exercise of working together. Yep. It really is. We're also going to connect in with the uh, VMS network on TMR's road network. Um, there's a whole range of VMS systems uh, on all the freight routes um, that we'll be keying into to message, um, uh, to put the message out there about the conditions of the gap at the time, uh, be that a, a stop slow or an inter intermittent stop slow, um, so that vehicles have that option, if you like, to plan their route or, or make alternatives. And that might be, for example, all the way back to the Port of Brisbane or in Ipswich at the Warrego Highway yeah detour so that if you're traveling and you see on the VMS for example that Cunningham's Gap is having long stop slows or uh, or other traffic impacts drivers may choose to take a, an alternative route obviously via Toowoomba is a, another route um, we'll have a lot of information that we'll be pushing out soon uh, in relation to those alternative uh, routes or detour routes if you like so the heavy vehicles have some options um, yes. to, to plan their route and, and um, avoid impacts if you like uh, at this site if, if, if necessary. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the more, more information you get out there ahead of time, the better people have to be able to react to it. So make a choice. If they need their vehicles to go through a topper, they'll go through a topper. If it's, if it's not too bad, they'll just still send them this way. So, you know, some people may choose to uh, send their vehicles this way anyway. So yep. yeah, it's, it'll be up to the individual uh, companies to make those decisions. Yeah.